Hi, this is uh, ZL3XDJ in the garden. So a quick video, um, just over here you can just see just in the distance a wee bit. Um, I've got the uh, 40 metre uh, vertical and we've also got, um, a, you can only see two actually, the other ones in the bushes. We've got a three element uh, parasitic vertical for 20 metres firing long path. And um, uh, and today we've just um, we've just erected here. Uh, hardly can't see it too much, but we've just erected a 20 meter uh, elevated uh, vertical antenna. Uh, <clears throat> I won't go into all the details and measurements of uh, of the antennas uh, because uh, uh, most people know about verticals uh, these days. So you you don't. And there's lots and lots of. Um, uh, videos on YouTube. <laughs> Everybody else is uh, doing them every week, uh, so I won't go in, into all that. Bas basically, it, it's um, uh, we, we've got um, five meter. Um, we've got a five meter element, so we've got a seven seven meter pole, seven meter pole just last to the tree. <coughs> Excuse me, just last to the tree. Um, People say that verticals need to um, need to be out in the middle of of the open spaces, not near anything. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, sorry, not unfortunately. I find this is not true because most of my other verticals, which have been working very successfully, uh, are right next to uh, right next to um, uh, the steel woodshed and also other trees and bushes. So I don't think I'll have any problems putting a vertical antenna up against a tree it's pretty much the same as putting up against a fence it it it, it, it doesn't get impeded i haven't found it's getting impeded everybody says uh, don't you know don't don't put a vertical near anything put it in the open rowdy rah I, I find that completely untrue anyway i digress we've got a seven meter pole and uh two meters off the ground just up here we've got a <coughs> we've got a, um, a connector for the quirks from that point there to to the very top is uh, is a five meter piece of wire, the driven the uh, the driven, driven element, and uh, obviously the quirks here just goes away off to the uh, across the garden to um, to the shack, and we've got here coming off it we've got four um, four radials the four radials we've got one going this way. We've got one going off over there, one going off that way, and one here coming down behind me. <coughs> Insulated at the ends from the ground and everything like that, roughly about 45 degrees. Um, and we've checked the SWR in the shack. It's uh, exactly 1.2 um, 1 to 1 right across 20 metres. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the basics. And the idea... The idea of putting up this antenna um, is um, I had a lot of lot of a lot of emails uh, from people saying that um, they would like to try an elevated vertical. That way, they don't have to put heaps and heaps of um, of radials on the ground in the garden, etc. They can just swing some out, and even these, you know, these uh, radials here that I've got out here to the fence. <coughs> I've got them on quick release at the end, so when I come to cut the lawns, I just quick release them, uh, bring them over, just put them near the the base of the tree, do the lawns, and uh, just fix them back up and away we go. But the basic idea is uh, to see uh, what the comparison is between the elevated vertical antenna, which everybody keeps telling me works really, really good, compared to the uh, the three-element parasitic. This is going to be the comparison over the next uh, the next week or so, or or, or whatever, and see what um, see how we uh, see how we get on. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. 
Um, it took me maybe an hour and a half this morning to um, to uh, to get everything uh, everything together. Get it just as I say, strapped it to a tree, <coughs> and um, just hang on a sec. I'll just turn this around. We um, no fancy camera work. I'm afraid it's just what what you get is what you see. Um, I haven't. Um, I haven't researched uh, any of this um, apart from just the basic configuration. Um, you know, vertical, 3.2 meters off the ground, four radials, tuned. Um, they say tuned. I haven't tuned them at all. Uh, uh, um, um, basically, the driven element is is um, is five meters five meters long. The radials are five meters long. Stuck it all together. Uh, one, as I say, one, 1.2 to 1 uh, SWR, uh, very easy, very simple, and uh, yeah, we'll do more videos uh, once the grey line gets round and we get um, we get on the air to see um, to see what the difference uh, might be. I just had a quick listen uh, uh, between the uh, between the elevated and the parasitic. And uh, the 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 elevated, it is morning time, so it's not a true test. But just basically, um, it's it's the elevated uh, antenna seems to be a little bit quieter. That's just initial test, but we'll we'll see what goes on. Um, uh, yeah, that's about all for now. I'm just going to go back in, um, get a cover, and um, yeah, that's it. It's um, I haven't, um, I haven't been on, I haven't been on the internet. I haven't been, I haven't been on, uh, you know, the the antenna um, prediction. Um, you know w what the lens might do, what what the radiating pattern might do. Um, what, you know all of this and comparisons. I don't like as as you know. You don't. I don't get into that. I just come out in the garden this morning. Um, got the um, got the antenna. Uh, stuck it in a tree, put some radials up, and let's uh, let's go. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's uh, I, I, that's uh, I, I I I sound a bit critical critical, but I just hear so many people these days, and I see so many people doing YouTube videos about uh, simple antennas, uh, and and they seem to make it you know so complicated about balance and onions and uh, and is it. Um, M M N N A, I think, or something like that. You know, looking through all that, and this is the, uh, this is this result, this is this prediction, and this is that, and this is, oh boy, you know, I just, uh, I, could, I just, I just couldn't be bothered to uh, to sit there and just um, and go through all that. Just get, get the antenna, get out in the garden, and see. If it, you know, um, excuse my French, but see if it bloody works. You know, it's as simple as that. You know, that, that's that's uh, that's what uh, that's what radio should be. We we don't need all this uh, all this all this com computer stuff and predictions and graphs and you know to, to to get on the air and have a bit of fun. Get out in the garden. Get out in the garden. Stick a stick a stick. You know, stick a bit of stick, stick a bit of pole in the tree with a wire on and kill radials and. Um, and uh, let's uh, let's just give it a give it a lash, you know. As I say, give it a lash. Yeah. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm quite pleased so far. I put a bit of Vaseline around the uh, around the connector and stuff like that. And and in actual fact, um, um, I, I've got. I'm not sure you can see it from me. I've actually got. Uh, where are we? Up here. I've got um, a lot of ferrite clamps. Just. Um, just coming on the uh, on the coax there. Um, I, I, I've been through all the the one-to-one -one balance and all this stuff, and they don't do much for me. I just put a few um, a few ferrite clamps on the cable, and it seems to work. I've had I've had no problems with uh, anything on the feed line and stuff like this. So there we go. Bit rough and ready this video. I wasn't uh, I wasn't coming out, but there's rain coming, so I thought I'd just uh, do a bit of spiel. <laughs> as usual talk as usual <laughs> with old uh, old people I end up talking to myself on the camera you know anyway um, I'll conclude this and uh, and um, and um, 
yeah, go and get a coffee and wait for the green line coming round and let you know the uh, let you know the results. Uh, see, bye for now.